I bought the cheapest softbox on Amazon. And I bought it for the sole reason to compare it to something much more expensive. Lighting is a very tricky business. And knowing what to spend your money on can make or break your video production. So on my right, I've got the Ombar Softbox Set Photo Studio 50 centimeter by 70 centimeter professional photography with 130 watt bulb and it's rated at 5500K. And on my left, I've got the Wheelight Ninja 300, which is 169 pounds, and the Aperture Light Dome Mini, which is retailing at the moment for 144 pounds. And what I wanna do in this video is replace my main key light, which is an SL60W and a Godox softbox, with both of these individually, so you can tell which one's right for you and whether there's any discernible difference. Make sure you watch to the end of the video to find out which, if either of these lights, is the best value for money. So without any further ado, I'm gonna turn off all the lights in the studio and replace my main key light with this cheap softbox. Oh, for goodness sake. There we go, that's better. So I've got the super cheap 45 pounds softbox mounted at a 45 degree angle just above my head, as you can probably see in in that angle over there. And these are pretty popular. You see them all the time. Even on quite large YouTube channels, you see people still using a softbox that costs 45 pounds, and that's because it works for them. They bought it originally when they started their channel and it's never let them down, and it does the job. But there are problems with softboxes like this. Firstly, when I was putting it together, it felt like it was gonna fall back apart without me even touching it, and the light stand that came with it was absolute junk. It had no weight to it, so I can see it toppling over, the bulb smashing, and then not having a light. Secondly, you've got no dimmer control, so it's either on or it's off. This is the brightness that it's at. I've had to compensate with my camera settings in order to get the right exposure, and that's not something I'd normally do. I would set my space to look how I want it to look, and then I'd adjust the power of the light to balance it. Thirdly, this is a daylight rated bulb, but you quite often get either a green or magenta tint on your scene because of the cheapness of the bulb. And let me just emphasize that for you now. Hopefully you can see it. So I've enhanced that within Premiere, but hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. And that's the reason you would buy a more expensive cob light. Lastly, you can see that this light is lighting up the back wall of my studio. And that's because we don't have this honeycomb attachment on the light and there's no way of attaching one to this light. What this honeycombing does is it really directs the light in the direction that you're pointing and it tries to block out any spill on the background. So what I'm gonna do now is swap the cheap softbox for the much more expensive Wii Light Ninja 300 and the Aperture Light Dome Mini. And there we go. You can see what a drastic difference changing the softbox has had on the look of our scene. There's still a little bit of spill behind me. You can still see the chair and a little bit of the wall, but nowhere near as much as you could before. And now that we've got that extra control, we haven't got that spill coming from the cheap softbox, we can add practical lights around us to enhance the look of our scene. Alexa, turn on shed. Like that. Now I can use the lights that I want to use instead of the light that I'm being forced to use because it's lighting up my entire space. Alexa, turn off shed. Hopefully you can see that magenta or green tint has gone entirely and because I'm able to use a light that's got a dimmer on it, I've turned the power of the light down, I've opened up the aperture on the camera, I've got a shallower depth of field and I just think it's a much more appealing image. So now let's swap between the expensive and the cheap light. Expensive, cheap, expensive, cheap, expensive, cheap, expensive. Personally, I much prefer the look of the more expensive light, but that's probably just because that's what I'm accustomed to. And I'm not trying to sell you either of them. I'm just trying to show you the difference so you can decide where your money is best spent. The last thing I want to do is show you the difference an even bigger softbox can have. Now this is a Godox 75 centimeter softbox. The one I'm currently using is a 60 centimeter softbox. And I'm using the newer SL60W as my cob light. 
Now this setup costs about £150, so it's somewhere in between the super cheap and the super expensive. A bigger softbox is great because it's more diffused, it's more even and more flattering, but obviously it takes up a lot more space and you have to make sure you've got that space available before you go and buy a massive great big softbox. So now we're shooting with the SL60W and that much bigger softbox. And personally, this is my favorite of them all. It's not the most expensive, it's not the cheapest, but I think it's probably the best. And having that bigger surface area on the softbox really allows for a more even, flattering light. This is the light I use in every single one of my videos and it's never let me down. Looking at it now, it looks a little bit warmer than it probably should do. It's definitely warmer than the We Light Ninja 300. But honestly, that doesn't bother me because I like a nice warm image. As long as it doesn't have the green or magenta tint, it's not an issue for me. When it comes to soft boxes, I really do think bigger is better. And the Aperture Light Dome Mini costs about five times what this costs. Food for thought. Hopefully this video has helped you decide whether you're gonna buy a cheap light, an expensive light, or something in the middle. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to watch another one of my videos, why not try this one, where I show you how to stop making shit looking videos with a few simple lighting techniques. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again really soon.